Angel. You're watching EMG TV, and this is Five Minutes with Ted. Neat. My favorite riff to play live on stage. Ooh. It varies all the time, but recently it has to be the, the chorus for Humanicide, the song Humanicide, which is off our latest album, Humanicide. Just something about it that just, when we get to that part, it just makes you want to just go crazy or just jump into the crowd or just want to hit something or something. But yeah, and I'll play it for you right here. That riff is just so heavy when it comes in with the drums and that it's just, ugh, can't get enough of it. What song or riff should every guitar player know how to play? Hmm. So many riffs out there, so many riffs. So uh, I myself am a big Metallica fan. I learned a lot of riffing and picking from them and uh, they have so many, so many riffs. But uh, Death Angel covered Trapped Under Ice uh, about 20 years ago and that um, opening riff is just so intense, very intense, in your face, the crunch, and it's really hard to play. But I think if you want to know how to play a riff, a metal riff, that would be that one, the beginning one. Uh, so, something like this. That riff. My favorite guitar body style would happen to be the EC. I mean, I go back and forth. I've had a Tele, I had a Viper, I had a Horizon, all the ESP shapes I've had. I haven't had a V, but the EC shape is really good, the Eclipse, because it's so similar to a Les Paul, and I always like the Les Paul shape, but the Les Paul is so heavy, it's, you know, too much for me. But the EC Eclipse, perfect light, and it just looks awesome close to a Les Paul. And Again, I've always been a fan of the Les Paul shape. My most memorable recording studio moment. Wow. Um, being in Death Angel, we recorded, oh, wow, uh, I'm on going on the eighth album with them, my eighth album with them, and we recorded um, with quite a great producers, Jason Sukoff being one of them. I had great recording experience with him for the last four albums, but my main memorable one that is going to be ingrained in my head, I just couldn't believe, it was recording the Killing Season record in 2007 at Studio 606 in Northridge, Hollywood, the Foo Fighters studio, Dave Grohl's studio, and having, and, you know, working with Nick Raskolinix who produced the record. That whole experience was just unreal, something I've heard about through other bands, you know, having to do pre-production before recording. I mean, Nick came up to our rehearsal room in Oakland, did pre-production there, then we did pre-production at 606, then we started the actual recording. Great studio, recorded on the old Sound City Neve. Um, just that whole recording session was memorable, so I would have to say that recording session, the Killing Season record. If the stomp box police was gonna come and raid all my pedals, take everything that I own, but I could leave, I could keep one pedal, that would happen to be a Ivan S Tube Screamer. Now that's the pedal, especially if you're gonna do some rhythms. You could take that pedal and pretty much plug into any high gain amp, whether it be a Marshall, a Mesa Boogie, an EVH, an Angle, and that just gives you the the punch that you need for your tone. So. That's the pedal I would keep. Have I seen a band cover a Death Angel tune? Yes, a couple of bands. Uh, Bay Area to Thrashinal would be one of them. They did Voracious Souls and Mr. Sapain. And one other band out in Holland, we played at uh, the FNR. And there was a cover band that opened up for Death Angel and they did a Death Angel song. So 
out of all the bands that I've seen, those are the only two bands that covered Death Angel that I saw a lot.